Okay, so up to this point, we've introduced a couple different data sets that's available in community.riskiq.com. And we've, we've sort of shown uh, the, what those data sets look like, how they manifest themselves inside the platform, and maybe some of the questions that you might want to ask as you're looking at it. And so if we think back to the uh, methodology and the infrastructure chains, you know, how does that map, how do these data sets that we just introduced map into that world? Well, if we're looking at something like passive DNS, um, where we're, we have the IP and domain relationships, we might have a starting point where it's an IP address. And then for uh, using passive DNS, we could say, show me every domain that's ever resolved to that IP address. And that's going to get us three domains. Mm -hmm. And then we can run a further passive DNS query to say, show me all the IP addresses associated with those domains through history. And so essentially what we're building here is the friends of friends query, uh, starting with one IP, turning that into three different domains, turning that into two more IPs and building out that chain. So it's the signals linking, linking the infrastructure together to show the relationships. So then you can see how those things interact and are related to each other. Exactly. And then on the who is side, looking at ownership of domain and how we can leverage that data set to form connections as well. We looked at passivetotal.org as our domain, and then we had that who is email address that appeared to be unique, domains at riskiq.com. We ran a pivot on that, and we were able to discover a number of other domains that seemingly did not appear to be related to RiskIQ on the surface. Uh, but looking at the WHOIS records, we can identify the match between them. And you had mentioned that you know, even the telephone number might be associated with different email addresses completely, but those domains might all use that same telephone number. Exactly. And you can link them together. Yeah, so this is just kind of building again on the concept of infrastructure chaining here and showing a visual up to this point in the data sets we've looked at.